The closure of a desert hot springs elementary school is forcing some students on a mile and a half walk each way to their new classes. And this includes crossing two major intersections during morning rush hour. Uh, we got this letter from a viewer. It said, I am a parent of two children that were going to Edward Winslaff Elementary School, which have be since been moved to Bella Vista Elementary School with the closing of Winslaff. I have tried to get my kids on the bus system to and from school, but because of the closure, the solution I got from the school district was to transfer my kids to another school. Kat Hernandez's two children attend Bella Vista Elementary, but to get to school, they have to walk a mile and a half. I like the fact that they do have a new school, but I don't like the fact that there's no transportation for them. We're now going to show you just how long it takes to get back to Kat's house. They have only offered me the fact of the transferring my students, my kids, to a different school, which they like the school that they're at. All their friends are there. Their teachers are good to them. And then we live right here. School district officials told me because of severe budget cuts, transportation was cut back years ago. This is the bus boundary map for Bella Vista. For Bella Vista, we actually, uh, the walking distances may be a little bit shorter than at some of the other schools because of terrain and because of it being brand new. Cat would like to see crossing guards at busy intersections like this one that has a speed of 40 miles an hour. As a chief, my biggest concern in this entire city is the safety of kids going to school. And so, yes, I'm always concerned, and uh, it keeps me up at night. The city employs three crossing guards that the police department oversees. It's definitely not enough. They need more. We wish we had more crossing guards, and we wish we had more officers. So we work with what we have, and uh, anybody that has a concern, feel free to voice it, and we can reevaluate any time. The school district told me they could reevaluate the bus boundary later. Boundaries are always subject to change, so they may not remain the same for next year. Like I said, we'd love to be able to provide transportation for every student that requests it. We can't do it. We only live less than three blocks from the bus stop. There's no reason why the kids couldn't walk there. And those three blocks mean a three-mile round-trip walk for her children. Bella Vista Elementary is actually a new school. It just opened this Monday. The police chief tells me that besides the crossing guard, they also have had an officer here every day this week. And the school district tells me that with the state budget looking better, they may be able to speak about the bus transportation again. Remember, KMIR is committed to making the Coachella Valley a better place to live. If you have a problem or a story you'd like us to look into, email us or call our newsroom. Live in Desert Hot Springs, I'm Angela Monroe for KMIR News. Now back to you.